Huh? I'll tell this fucking guy he's got two weeks to pay up his fucking rent. I, yo. Huh? After these two weeks, I don't know what kind of fucking mood I'm gonna be in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Huh? Two fucking weeks. All right, I heard you. Oh, and uh, make sure you don't hurt his pretty face. I don't throw up a problem. Gabish. What the fuck you want? You done with that shit or what? What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. What the fuck you need that for? You can't get enough delivering a fucking package? Or what? Tell you what, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! I'm gonna send my man Marco out there. I tell this guy, stop, mother. I gotta go. Take off your glasses. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Come on, just do it. No. I'm not gonna ask you again. Where is he? Stop, don't make it a big deal. Are you kidding me? How are you gonna let him do this to you? I fell, okay? You fell? Yes, I fell. Now stop making it a big deal. You fell into his fist? I fell on the ground. Was that before or after he hit you? Look, I asked you here because I just wanted someone to talk to. Alright, let's talk about how he hit you. You know what? Forget it. This was a bad idea. Wait, Trace. I'm... I'm sorry. Sit down. Please. You know, I'm just, I'm angry because I care about you. you, you know that. It was my fault. Tracy, come on, leave him. It was, okay, and I'm fine. How are you doing? Let's talk about that. You know, I could take care of you. Really? You in love with me or something, Louie? Or something. You know, I'm making pretty good money right now, and we could just get out of here. And where would you take me? Wherever you want to go. Anywhere away from the city would be nice. Have you ever been up to Ember Forest? I haven't. I go there maybe once or twice a month for work, sometimes more, sometimes less. It's really beautiful up there. You know, some people even live up there. Could you imagine that? What kind of work involves you going into the forest once or twice a month? Actually, 
I mostly asked you out here because I've been meaning to ask you something. What's that? Is it true that, um... Do you work for Al Moretti? Yes. What do you do? I'm also drop-off packages. What kind of packages? actually homeless. This one time it was just around here, I was behind a clothing store in a dumpster and the, the owner comes out and he's like, get the hell off my property, you druggie. And it's like, no matter how you asked me that, I would have left, so it could have been a little nicer. But they punched me in the face, my nose started bleeding, cops showed up and they arrested me. They didn't care about my side. You know, that's, that's when I realized it doesn't matter you're good or bad, because there's no such thing. It's all about the different classes. But I believe that you could be raised in a bad environment and still come out good. Like you. Even if we never talk again after today, I will always protect you. Even if that means doing things you don't like for your own good. What is that supposed to mean? The boss wants to know if you really want to go through with this. Tell him I'm sure. Are you sure? You know he's going to make you do more than deliveries, right? I mean, is it all worth it just for some girl? It is to me. If you say so. I think you and Tracy should break up. Who? Tracy? Wait, Wait this is what this is about? No, you, you can. Fuck that bitch. If, if I did go with you, would they even let you leave? Absolutely. I'm like a son to him. You're a stupid motherfucker, you know that? What the, what the fuck? You think you're a hero? You think you're a hero? You're no fucking good of her. You, after what you did to her, you think she's gonna go with you? 
this. You guys are no fucking good for each other. That's not true. It's not true? No. I love her, and I am leaving. Get the fuck out of here. You have no sense of love. What, you think with your little fucking spaghetti dick you're gonna fucking please her all day? Get the fuck out of here. You know nothing about that. She's gonna be better off. Because you're no good. You're gonna thank me later. You had to do what you had to do to protect her, but now just fucking let her go. Hmm? Are you done talking yet? Because I got a date to catch. Yeah. So obviously I can tell I can't I can't fucking tell you nothing that's gonna change your mind, right? Two fucking kids. Two fucking kids. But hey, tell you what. This is what I'm gonna do for you. I love you. Huh? I fucking love you. But I'm gonna let you go. Just so that you know that I'm fucking right. And when you come back, I'll be here with fucking open arms. Does it sound good? Fucking cut this guy fucking loose. Fucking piece of shit. I'll see you around, huh? Scary stories? To tell in the dark, yeah. I like scary stories. Are you afraid of stuff like that? Like ghosts and whatnot? Mmm. I'm more so scared of natural things rather than unnatural things. Like what? Like earthquakes, floods, tornadoes, storms. Things out of my control. My mom used to tell me we should be afraid of the living, not the dead. About uh, guns. Are you afraid of guns? Yeah, guns too. You know, I used to be afraid of guns up until I learned how to use one. Now it helps me feel like more in control. Well, I wouldn't know. Would you like to? Would I like to what? Learn how to use a gun. That's perfect if you want to take your face out. You want to hold it up here because break your jaw. You don't want it in front of you because it'll hit you in the gut. You want to hold it on the side, firm grip. Just cock it, aim it, general direction, and shoot. You got it? Got it. All right. And be careful because that thing has a hell of a kick. Right. Okay. That was great. The gun's not supposed to go flying, though. Yeah, I uh, I miscalculated the the wind velocity. Right. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs>